Did you know that electrical energy can be changed into heat, sound, and light energy? Last lesson, we learned about conductors and insulators of thermal and electrical energy. In this video, we'll be learning about circuits and the flow of electrical energy. Electrical energy is when energy is transferred through the flow of electrons in a conductor. An electric current is created when a charge flows from a positive to a negative. Conductors such as silver, copper, and gold contain electrons that are loosely bound and allow them to flow with ease. Insulators such as plastic, rubber, wood, and glass resist the flow of electrical energy since they contain tightly bound electrons. A closed circuit forms a complete path for electrical energy to flow through and circulate. A light, speaker, heating element, and other devices can be powered by electricity flowing through a closed circuit. Electrical energy continuously flows through this path and stops only when a circuit is broken or opened. You can stop the flow of electricity by opening the circuit with a switch and by removing the conductor. A perfect example of this is when we plug in devices to an outlet. When turned on, the flow of electrical energy powers on our TVs, microwaves, and refrigerators. When turned off, the circuit is opened and the devices power off. Open circuits do not allow electrons to flow through them because they do not have a complete path. An easy way to remember open and closed circuits is by using the rhyme, closed flows and op stops. There are two types of circuits, series and parallel. Series circuits have a single path for electricity to flow through. Parallel circuits have multiple paths for electricity to flow through. In a series circuit, a break in the circuit will completely stop the flow of energy. For example, if we were to open a switch in a series circuit, the flow of electrons would completely stop and the light bulb would turn off. A parallel circuit has multiple paths for energy to flow through. If a switch were to be open in a parallel circuit, it is possible that there will be a complete path for electric energy to flow through. A series circuit has one single pathway where the flow of electrical energy can move from positive to negative. If we open the switch, electrons can no longer flow through the circuit. In a parallel circuit, we have multiple pathways for electrical energy to flow through. If one of the pathways is interrupted, such as through the opening of a switch, electrons may still continue to flow through another pathway. In this example, we have a parallel circuit with multiple switches. As we can see, electricity is flowing through multiple paths, powering the motor, buzzer, and the light bulb. Now, what would happen if we were to open switch one in the circuit? If we were to open switch one, we still have a complete path for electrical energy to flow through. Both the buzzer and motor will stay powered on, but the light bulb will turn off. Now, what would happen if we were to open switch two? If we open switch two, we still have a complete path for the light bulb to stay powered on. However, the motor and buzzer will turn off. Let's review what we just learned. A closed circuit allows for electrical energy to flow from a positive to a negative. An open circuit does not have a complete pathway for electrical energy to flow. Series circuits have only one pathway and when a switch opens a circuit, the flow of energy completely stops. Parallel circuits have multiple pathways. When one pathway is opened, electricity can still flow through another.